Okay, so just to let you know, I'm recording now. So it can pick up if you're whispering, so you have to be really quiet. Thank you. Okay. In any case. All right. Okay, it is on right now, guys, so you have to be quiet. Um, we're going to go back and review uh, 1.8, which was the practice with algebra questions. Now, before we begin, though, can anyone tell me what a variable is? Hands up. What's a variable? Because I'm going to be referring to variables from now on. So what's a variable? What's a variable, Natalie? Uh, an unknown value represented by a letter. So basically a variable is a, um, Nathan, what's a variable? A letter. Thank you. Okay. So any letter, x, y, z, m, n is a variable. Okay. So number one, and yes, I know we go, went over this, but we're going to go over it in two ways. Remember, you could do guess and check, which is okay, or you can balance. Remember, balancing might lead you to the answer in an easier way, okay? In this case, number one, somebody tell me the guess and check method. What does x have to equal in number one, where you have x plus 3 equals 7? Yes, speak up. Um, okay, Malcolm? Four. Thank you. Okay, now, if, if you were to do this the balancing way, I'm going to rewrite x plus 3 equals 7, okay? Now, the idea with balancing is you need to isolate x or get x on its own, and you want to get rid of all the other stuff besides x, okay? In this case, it's easy because it's only one step. Now, if I want this 3 to go to 0 and I want to get rid of the 3, what should you do? If I want that 3 and I want to get rid of it, now remember, right now it's added to the x, right? So how do I get rid of the 3 so it goes to 0? Because that's the objective. You want to get x by itself. Okay, Josh? 7 minus 3. Um, you're one step ahead, so we want to get rid of the 3 first. Okay? So how do you make it go to 0? Trevor? If you do minus 3, yeah. you have to do minus 3 on 7. Because whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other side, right? So now you're left with x equals 4, okay? I kind of ran out of room there. So that's how the balancing works. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. You have to get rid of all the stuff around x, right, before that. Okay, number 2. Number 2 is similar to number 1. Now somebody tell me the guess and check way, what does x equal? Again, this is simple because it's more straightforward, right? Um, Okay, uh, Marina. 16. Thank you. Okay. Now you know x equals 60. Okay, I'm going to rewrite it doing it in the balancing way. x minus 10 equals 50. I gave you an example number one. You have x minus 10. Now, think carefully. How are you going to get rid of the minus 10 so it goes to zero? Okay, think here, we did the opposite operation. It was added to 3, so we subtracted 3, so it went to 0. Now we're subtracting 10. We want that to go to 0, okay? So think carefully, what would you do? And if, you, if you're not following me right now, don't worry about it, because you can still do that and check. Um, okay, Jojo. Um, you add 10 to both sides. Yeah. So why do you add 10? Can you explain why? Can someone explain why she's adding 10 here? Okay. She's not subtracting 10, and she's right. You have to add 10 to both sides, because whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. But why do you add 10 in this case, um, Elizabeth? Um, Exactly. You always do the opposite operation. Okay. You're kind of like reversing it. So therefore, you're left with x equals 60. Okay. All right. I hope this is sort of making sense to some of you. Okay. All right. Now, so again, you might find that this might be easier to do it this way than to guess and check. I'm going to rewrite number 3 because we can't really see it. 12 divided by 4 equals 8 minus x. 
Now, this one I'm not going to balance because you have a negative x and I don't want to um, confuse you. But here, what do you have to do first to make it easier to solve? Um, Ty? 12 divided by 4. Thank you. Okay. Answer to that is? 3. Okay. So you rewrite 3 equals 8 minus x. Okay. okay. So from here, you can easily determine what x is. Now, I'm not doing the full balancing again because you have a negative x. So what does x equal in that case? Donna. Five. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. But we can balance number four. Now, somebody tell me the answer using the guess and check method for number four. Okay. Adriana? Six. Thank you. Okay. All right. X equals six. Now, okay, to do it the balancing way, again, I'm going to rewrite it. 2x plus 4 equals 16. Now, here's the tricky thing. You have 2 times x here plus 4. You have to get rid of what first? Now, you're kind of doing a reverse PEMDAS. Okay? So, it's added to 4 here. What do you get rid of first? Would you get rid of the 2x or would you get rid of the plus 4 first? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? So, I said, think of like reverse PEMDAS. in this case, so as not to confuse you. Okay, um, Jesse? Yeah, do you do the four first. You have to get rid of your addition and subtraction in this case, okay? So, how do you get rid of the four? Somebody else, how do you get rid of the four? Samir? That one, I don't know if we'll be able to hear on that, but that's fine. Okay, now, times up with 16 minus 4. Hunter, 16 minus Yeah, thanks. Okay, now, think about, in this case, what are you left with? Now, I'm going to emphasize that you don't ever, you don't have a plus 4 anymore, and now the right side of the equals has gone to 12. Okay, now I have to rewrite my next step. What are you left with? Uh, okay, I've crossed out what you don't have anymore, but you're left with two things and you have to rewrite it that way because it's the process, right? Okay, um, Rachel, what are you left with? Okay, what do you need in the middle of those two? Yeah, so you rewrite 2x equals 12. Okay, now, remember you're doing the opposite operation to reverse it, okay? So we have 2x equals 12. Now, easily for the guess and check, you can figure out what x is from here, okay? However, to balance it, remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So if 2 is multiplied by x, how do I get rid of the 2 beside it? Remember, think the opposite. It's 2 multiplied by x. What operation can I do to reverse it to get rid of the 2? You always do the reverse. Remember, it's always partnered with something. Multiplication x. Ah, now. Okay, 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 okay. Listening, though. Okay, in this case, now remember earlier up here, we made it go to 0 because we were adding and subtracting. In this case, I want it to go to 1, so I'm left with x. So how do I make 2x go to 1? We already decided we're going to divide, right? What do you divide by to get x on its own? You divide by. <laughs> you divide by Noah. Two divided by two. 
Yes, you do 12 divided by 2, but what else do you have to do to the other side? <laughs> Remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. You do to the other. So therefore, okay. Therefore, if you're dividing 12 by 2 on the right side, what do you have to do to the other side? Yes. Divide by 2. Okay. You divide by 2. So now you're left with 1 here. Therefore, x equals. Okay. Again, if you had no idea what I was doing, don't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to...